Hey guys, sorry this video took way too long to make. Watch until the end of this video to receive an explanation for that, among other things that happened. Enjoy the video! You can already tell I'm in elementary school. Well, by the time this video is out, I've probably already graduated elementary school. I have some moments in my school years that I still remember up to this very moment. These moments are very stupid. Also, another thing is that during 3rd and 4th grade, I was homeschooled, so I don't have any stories to share with you guys during that period. Also, I have math relations and Pinoy Andrew. Hi, Rohan. Hello, people of this world. Sub to me and desperate lol. So let's get started. One time at recess in kindergarten, I went to our playground monkey bars. Now, I was kind of scared since that was my first time I went on monkey bars on my own. Probably the first time ever. So I gripped the bars and slowly slid down in anxiousness. The very moment I slid off the ledge and started hanging, that's when it got me. My hands started to hurt. It burnt so badly. I couldn't move. For five seconds I was on the monkey bars, I started to lose my grip. And when I did, I fell down to the ground. It wasn't that big of a drop really, but it hurt my back, and probably an extra bonus was that the ground was wood chips. In my cousin's playground where the monkey attacks took place, the ground was sand. I accidentally went too fast down the side and tripped. I wasn't hurt because the sand cushioned me, so I started to purposely fall down because of the sand. Anyway, I saw the sky for a few seconds and got up. When we went back to our class, a student brushed off the wood chips that was stuck in my head. The only thing I started to wonder is what kids thought of me falling down. Wow, he is very stupid. Oh, you said stupid. And I have never touched monkey bars again. Even up to this day, I'm afraid it will rip my hands off. You're a scaredy cat, Rohan. Oh, you're mean. I'm telling the teacher. Anyway, another time in fifth grade, we had a language test going to Toyota. Andrew was absent that day, by the way. The rhymes are real. I also had a TV test during that time. So, at the start of another day, our language arts teacher comes along and asks me and two other students, Where is your Toyota test? And my dumb brain tells me to pull up my sleeve and show my language arts teacher my TV test. And she tells me, No, not a TV test, your Toyota test. Oh. I just embarrassed myself in front of almost 20 students. Might have tuberculosis. Another time in second grade, I was a bus rider and one day it was raining, so when I got onto the bus, me and my friend just started singing, Rain, Rain, Go Away. I don't remember why, but that was definitely rude. I imagine the kids in the bus cringing so hard to our performance. The bus driver was probably annoyed too. I have a thought. Why is it that when the bell rings and you get tardy, they punish you by making you more late? Isn't that defined the whole point of the punishment? In my school, they make tardy students go all the way to the principal's office, get a tardy slip, and go all the way back to class. It really sucks because the fifth grade hallway is the farthest from the office, and so is the door I used to come in. Anyways, it's time for Matthew to tell his stories. Go ahead. Alrighty. Okay, anyways, when I was in like preschool or something, we were having recess, and I wanted to be a boss and slide on the floor. So I was running, I was ready to slide, but then I scraped my knees really bad, and there was like blood. I don't really remember anything after that. Um, okay, I remember now. So I was going on the monkey bars. It was also my first time. Anyways, I was trying to reach the other bar, but my stupid noodle arms weren't long enough. So what ended up happening was me falling, like there wasn't any blood or gore, and Jesus, I was so jelly of those other kids that keeps the monkey was just fine. Anyways, that's it. Bye. Okay, well now it's time for Andrew to come in. 
So, I'm going to tell you a stupid reason I got in trouble at school. One time in third grade, I was listening to the teacher paying attention. Then out of nowhere, she told me, you have a warning. And I said, I didn't do anything. And she said, I don't care. And in second grade, our language arts teacher had a substitute. Her name was, um, what should I name her? Let's go with Miss Bad Boy. So she was constantly shouting us for like, shouting at us for like, little reasons for like whispering when we were allowed to but much didn't happen to our class but when i was in the class across her i heard a scream shut up the last thing about her was that she said you to my second grade friend miss bad boy detention by the way she was a freaking 12th grade teacher this year in fifth grade there was a sewage break it smelled like poop at recess because of the leak me and Rohan are at the same school together, so we both had to experience this poop outbreak. Yeah, it was because some ignorant kids flushed things they shouldn't down the toilet. For example, their underwear, toilet paper, maybe homework, and they absolutely abused the toilets. So this happened. At first, the only working bathroom was fifth grade, so then people had to walk down the incredibly large hallway down to the fifth grade bathroom. We heard this announcement and people around me cheered because all of us were in the 5th grade. But then another announcement said that the 5th grade bathroom stopped working as well. And we couldn't even drink water, so yeah, this went too far. Since our middle school is super close to us, we had to ride buses to the middle school for going to the bathroom. I can't believe those twats didn't clog those toilets. It was so crazy when on the news and I saw a kid dab. Cringe level over 9,000. For emergencies, they sent kids to the absolutely disgusting staff porta potty. I can't believe our school had a problem so bad that it would come from two pre kindergartners to the entire school being harmed. When I was in pre K, I liked Dora and Diego. I hate them now. Sorry, but I'm not your target demographic anymore. But my school had a toy wheel journal from Diego, and I was constantly asking the teacher to give me it. And she said, Okay, how many times do I have to tell you? And she gave me it. It was kind of disappointing since it wasn't real and I probably had high expectations. But to make it feel real, I grabbed a blue crayon and used it with the toy. Wait, what? Yeah, it's stupid, but I felt like I needed it for some reason. It made the field journal more dirty, but I didn't care at the time. Now I am a sanitized maniac. The smallest things make me go wash my hands with soap. And the toy wasn't even designed for a pen-like object. It was best to use with finger. I don't know why my common sense was so dumb. So another time, I used to live in Australia, and I was in a primary school. And I was kinda dumb. The teacher asked us to skip count when we were first grade. Someone got an easy question, which is count by twos. Then my teacher asked me to count by threes, which is out of hand for a first grader that was kinda dumb like me. I said three, and then, uh, mm. So I made it to six, and I literally got in trouble for not knowing it, I believe so. This is a story from Australia again. So it was my last day in Australia. We lived in a hotel for like two weeks, and on the last day, I took the Melbourne Metro to my school. The transportation is darn good. They have trains and trams who didn't own a car because it's so efficient. And I went to school and blah 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 and we ended up sitting in the middle thing. And it was time for me to leave a humongous crowd of classmates was surrounding me. I was like, oh my gosh, save me. So then the teacher was like, stop hugging him for what or whatever. So then I went home and the next day we woke up at 3 a.m. This is off topic, but whatever, and went to the airport. We got there and took the friggin' second longest flight known to exist, a boring 16 hour flight to Dallas. By the time I flew it, it was the longest flight in the world. It was he- Nah, I just slept the whole time. Oh hey there guys, thanks for watching the video. This is present me here again with a finally another story time video after two freaking years. Why? Well I'll tell you. Well, two years ago, me had an idea to create this very video you see right here and made the script for the video. I made the script, uh, but was very busy at the time, so I recorded the dialogue a week or two later. 
When it was time to record, Audacity was stupid for some reason and didn't switch to the microphone I had plugged in. So I was recording on the, my laptop's default crappy mic for this entire video and only realized halfway through recording lines for the Project Overtime pilot that I needed to manually switch to the mic I had plugged in. I recorded this animation and the Project Overtime pilot back to back. So that's the reason why the audio is really bad. I ended up becoming really busy in the years it took to animate this video and somehow slowly animated this over the course of one and a half years and procrastinated on it a lot. In those final six months that I had, I got my crap together and finally managed to finish the animation that you all see today. That's the reason why this video came out so late. I deeply apologize for delaying it this long. It won't happen again, or at least it won't happen like this again. Moving on, I don't know if the YouTube algorithm suddenly going to decide to recommend this video to everyone in the storytime community, but in case if you're new or old here, I recommend you read the description as I have a Twitter, a subreddit, and a Discord now. You can look at my website for all the other social media I have. The, you can interact with me on social media if you want. And if you want to help me animate stuff or help me make Project Overtime, uh, check out the Google Form I link below. It contains animator positions, it contains storyboard positions, it contains maybe music, I don't remember. But unfortunately it's not a paid position, so if you want to get paid then you better look elsewhere. So I'm very sorry. For future videos, I may make a part 2 of this video and maybe make a sequel to editing videos like animating or voice acting. But I'm mainly going to make original content and reviews, mostly like Scott the Waz and Connor the Waffle. Anyways, see y'all once again. I apologize for this huge delay. And goodbye.